Hello everyone, welcome to 4D Makers project videos. In this video, we will create a web controlled music player using our Gen4 IOD and a SOMO music player module. The Gen4 IOD serves a perfect platform for IOD projects that require graphical interfaces and solutions. The platform is easy to use and Arduino compatible which makes it perfect for both new and experienced users. This project works by using the Gen4 IOD to host a web server. Users must connect to the Gen4 IOD via the access point generated by the device. By opening any web browser, users will be able to control the SOMO via the HTML page. To build this project, we will need the following. Gen4 IOD 32T 240 by 320 pixel resistive touch display module with integrated Wi-Fi. IOD programming adapter, programming adapter for the Gen4 IOD modules, 10-way FFC cable or flat flex cable connector to connect the IOD programming adapter to the Gen4 IOD module. SOMO2 audio module, micro USB card for MP3 music files, 3 watt 4 ohm speaker, breadboard, connecting wires, and 5 volt external power supply. To program the Gen4 HMI display, we will need micro USB cable, micro SD card. Build the circuit according to the provided schematic diagram. You can visit our website for the complete code for this project. Once you have the zip project, extract the project to the destination folder you prefer and launch the Workshop 4 IDE. Click open and navigate to that folder. First, load the 4D Arduino extended graphic files to your Gen4 display. Open the file wcmp.4dardusd. Load the code to the display and then load the graphics onto the micro SD card. The project has two sections, the Arduino compatible web server code which handles all the necessary codes to host the server and to trigger the commands to the SOMO module. The second part is the HTML control interface which primarily composed of design and GUI. In our code, we first include the necessary library header files variables, and constants in this section. The Gen4 HMI display and the SOMO module are also instantiated here. Then initialize the web server using port 80. The following subroutine function accepts, interprets, and handles the trigger provided by the HTML control interface. A corresponding command for the SOMO will be executed when the trigger data is received. The serial communications for debugging is initialized. The command for the Gen4 IOD to act as an access point also initializes here. The keywords to be received for triggering the SOMO module is also initialized here. Then the web server will begin. Lastly, all the SOMO and LCD initializations will be executed. Inside the main loop, a non-blocking delay for changing the user image on the display module is executed together with the handle client function of the server library. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.